Hello my beautiful Geminis, welcome to your November 1st to November 11th reading. So I'm just going to go over some quick announcements and then we're going to do a quick shuffle on camera and I will go over the messages that I picked up on your pre-shuffle, okay? So Gemini, if you're currently a subscriber, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every month uh, for free readings and I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. The winners will always be announced in the monthly reading, so please be sure to click that notification bell so you know for when those readings post, okay? Um, now, for personal readings, I am taking personal readings. I was going to start the holiday special December 1st, but I'm in New York right now. I'm with my family, and I'm just feeling all holiday-ishy. I don't know if that's a word. I doubt it is, but that's how I'm feeling. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and start the holiday sale a little bit early. I'm going to start at November 1st. So you would get $10 off your 15-minute uh, reading or $20 off a 30-minute reading, and that's for new customers or existing customers. That's for everybody all around, okay? The details will be in the description box below, or you can go to my website, www.com the tarot of light.com okay the deck we're using today is the golden universal um, it's listed in the description box below if you're interested so let's go ahead and get started gemini okay spirit angel spirits and guides what messages do we have for my gemini's please for november 1st to november 11th please holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance can we give to my gemini's in regards to love please Spirit, angel spirits and guides. So guys, I picked up on a very, very specific message during your pre-shuffle. It was really interesting. So I'm seeing that here overall, you guys are very happy. Okay, you guys are very happy. But, but, um, I am seeing that there is maybe due to mercury retrograde okay possibly um i do see someone coming into the picture that you're trying to block out and this is somebody that has either caused you a lot of heartache or you have caused them a lot of heartache and this is something that you have kept secret or kept to yourself and i'm feeling gemini it might be you that may have really really hurt this person for some of you because it like it's they're like a representation of everything that you want to forget okay um maybe you were with this person when you were really really young and maybe you did some really bad things while you were with them and you really hurt them and you know you've left that in the past and now with them coming back into the picture um you know it's just it's bringing up weird things like it's bringing up you know weird emotions it's like skeletons in the closet that you don't want to face gemini you know um i know that's a very specific message that may only resonate with a few of you but that's what i picked up on the pre-shuffle um so i mean it's weird though because i am seeing that you are you know you're currently a lot of you are doing okay in your relationship i mean you're not you know there's nothing really happening but i am seeing that there's something off on the side that's really bothering you guys um you know, to each his own, everybody, it's going to resonate a little bit differently, but something's kind of bothering you. And that is what Mercury retrograde is all about, guys. You know, thinking about those exes, that's what you're thinking about, the mistakes that were made. And, you know, ultimately, Mercury retrograde is not to reconcile. A lot of people that come together during that time come together just to heal, to get that closure. And it really usually never ends up working out, okay? So we have here the Knight of Wands under the deck, um, Leo, Sagittarian, Aries energy. So either you're going towards somebody passionately, they're coming towards some, you know, they're coming towards you passionately. Let's keep in mind though, guys, that this isn't always the fun type of passion. Sometimes I feel like in certain readings, it's an energy of somebody come be, maybe coming towards you with a fight or you may be coming towards someone else with a fight. Yeah, because I'm seeing here, we have Cancerian energy. We have the chariot here. Somebody is getting in this chariot um, strategically, okay? This is a knight here. This is somebody that's is setting out to complete a mission, okay? They're getting in their car, they're getting in their, their chariot, and I am feeling that this may be an ex, okay, with the Six of Cups. This could be the mother of your children, 
the father of your children. This may even be a childhood sweetheart or just an ex, okay? Um, this is some a situation where there was a lot of heartache, maybe even a, a third party situation, cheating, lies, deception. Uh, maybe you stole from this person, they stole from you, okay? But here we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, somebody, and these are very fast moving cards, the chariot and the knight of swords, fast moving cards. They're coming towards you, Gemini, or you're going towards them. There may be physical distance between you and this person. There may be emotional distance. I feel like you guys have not spoken in quite some time. Um, we can be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. Um, but with the Knight of, with the King of uh, Pentacles and the um, Strength card, Leo energy, I'm feeling that Gemini, again, for a lot of you, you're in a stable, committed relationship. A lot of you may be mothers, fathers, wives, husbands, and you really have to tame your emotion towards this person that's coming in. Like I said, like, like you guys have your little cocoon, you're happy, you know what I'm saying? But something's going to come in that's going to spark these really vicious memories from the past okay and with the wheel of fortune and the magician here okay i am seeing that someone here has been manifesting something they're they're trying to to to, to get something done they're working on something and they're being successful at it they're being successful at it okay with this ten of swords okay i'm, I'm seeing here gemini that you might be noticing here that Ooh, Gemini. Gemini, I feel that for a lot of you, you're starting to see that this ending between you and this person worked out very well for them, okay? They are looking good. They are very attractive, maybe even a business owner. Um, you know, they could have moved on and had, you know, children with somebody else. But I feel like right now this person might be single, financially stable, peaceful, looking good, and someone here is jealous. So Gemini, this could be you or this could be your person. Someone is really pissed. Someone is jealous and maybe even a little turned on, Gemini. <laughs> maybe even a little bit turned on, okay? And um, yeah, I'm seeing here that we have this angel that's coming in to clear away those negative emotions, clear away the, the grudges, clear away the bad emotions. And with the six of swords, I'm feeling here that this angel is coming to remove that toxicity and move this whole situation into more peaceful waters. Okay. Um, now we have this knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. And I am seeing that, you know, with this 10 of pentacles, someone here is going to be offering a very abundant situation here. Um, this person may be offering finances or whatever they're coming in to offer. Guys, I'm so sorry. Someone just rang the doorbell and the dog is going crazy. Just one moment. Gemini, I am so sorry, guys, okay? But yes, so this fix-it angel is coming in to clear everything out. Now, I do see Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. So someone is coming in offering abundance, or Gemini, you may be proposing marriage to somebody, or somebody is coming in proposing marriage to you. And this is going to be a successful new beginning here, okay? Now, like I said, there's two different situations here. So in your current partnership, I'm feeling that, um, yeah, I'm feeling that in the future, things are going to be okay. But presently, there's just, there's, there's this outside ent entity, something that, you know, had ended. There was a lot of heartache. There was a lot of nasty things being said. The, this shadow side, this, this thing from your past is coming back in and just churning up feelings. Um, but with your current person, I am seeing maybe a marriage proposal here because we've got Gemini energy here with the three of pentacles. So this could be that someone here is working on their current connection, or this can be a third party situation. You know, you're putting your sword up against this connection that's happening over here. Okay. Um, and again, I am seeing strongly a proposal of marriage. We've got the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, and that Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing a ring here and here. So, you know, your current relationship may be moving to a higher level of commitment, um, but you're dealing with these feelings, you know, which again, maybe, uh, you know, Mercury retrograde may be hitting you guys a little bit hard this year, okay? Or this time around. Um, now, this could be your energy or your person's energy here. Yeah. 
It's, it's going to be dark, guys, but you guys are getting through it. You've got that angel coming in to help guide you guys through it and to release it and, and finally put it in the past and put it to rest, okay? All right, guys, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget um, the holiday special if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, okay? $10 off a 15-minute reading, $20 off a 30-minute reading. Take care, guys.